to create a cloth review animation, we start by joining all the parts of our model. So you can select everything and press Ctrl J to join all the parts. Then we want to add a mesh plane and scale that up. Now you want to join this mesh plane to your car model. Going to edit mode, select the face and then Let's change this to this new material we created and assign that. So the next step is to add another plane. Mesh plane. Scale that up. And then tab into edit mode, subdivide it. Let's give it 60 subdivisions. All right, back to object mode. Then you want to add a modifier, deform shrink wrap, and then the target will be the car model. So then we want to change this to project on surface and negative. So we have it projecting on the car and the ground. Then we can increase the offset, put it just right above the car. Add modifier, generate subdivision surface, let's put that above. All right, now we have an outline of the car. We can apply this modifier, apply also the shrink wrap modifier and then we'll add the decimate modifier so then you want to collapse this reduce the ratio and then apply the decimate modifier this is what we have in edit mode we can then select these edge vertices that are close alt select it and move it out so that we'll have the clots being able to collide on those areas. Alt, move it out. What you can do is add another plane. This is going to be the clot. Scale this up. And for this low poly model that we created of the car, you can select that and add collusion to it. So you go to your physics and add collusion. So back to the clot, select that edit mode, you want to subdivide it. So let's give this 60 subdivisions. You will need something, you will need a higher number of subdivisions to get a better quality. But depending on your system, it might slow it down. So also in edit mode, Let's select this edge. Select holding shift and control. Select, then if you press control H, we can hook it to a new object. And then you want to come to this data and add these faces as a new vertex group and press assign. So we have assigned these vertices to this new object. So go to object mode. Now just select your plane and add the cloth physics to it. You hit play and you see that your cloth falls down to the ground. All right, so here in the cloth, settings the shape we want to pin that vertex group now you can see that this empty is holding it up the next thing you want to animate this empty so from this first frame we can select this new object key the position move in some few seconds in our timeline and then we want the position of this hook object to be on the ground 
press I to add a keyframe, move our head, and then we want it to pull it all the way out here. Insert another keyframe. You run the simulation again, that's moving too fast. So we have the empty pulling the cloth so too fast and you can move that keyframe forward. All right, looking much better. So then you can hide this plane because we will not need it in our render. We are pretty much done. You can increase the number of subdivisions and the quality steps in your physics for your cloud physics. You can also turn on self collusion. Turn on self collusion to have better quality, but this would be at a higher GPU or CPU de demand, depending on what you have for it to create more realistic looking clots. And then for your clot, you can add the subdivision surface modifier to make it look smooth. And don't forget to also shade smooth. Then you can go ahead and add your clot material. So if you want this floor plane separated, you can always select it, tap into edit mode, select ground plane, and then right click and separate by loose path or selection. And we have this floor separate from our vehicle. So what we can do is bake this cloth animation. We can add another subdivision to increase the quality of the animation. We can add another subdivision surface modifier and put this before the cloth simulation. That's not subdivision surface. Generate subdivision surface. And then take this up before it's the cloth simulation. So as you can see, we have a drop in the FPS. Because it's going to take more time to render that. But you have a much higher res looking cloth can also increase the levels. So if we go back to the cloth physics, you come here to catch, and then you want to bake it. So under our output, we specify the number of frames and bake to 140 frames. 140. Back to physics. Catch, change this to 140 frames, and then press bake. So this will take some time depending on your PC for the cloth to bake. All right, so we have baked our cloth simulation. You can go ahead and press play. Yes, we have a nice looking cloth simulation. Alright, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.